So it says here, uh, they're comparing Trump to the biblical queen who saved the Jews in Iran, uh, the Persians. To this day, the work of Queen Esther, uh, who used very unconventional means to, uh, essentially dishonesty and, uh, anyway, she was doing, breaking the law for the greater good, committing what we all would, co what was considered sinful at that time, okay? To, uh, and it actually saved the Jews in Persian, to this day in Iran. Iran hates Israel, okay? They're the biggest, greatest threat to Israel. And yet, Iran is the Muslim country that is, uh, under Islamic law that enforces it, that actually also has to be obligated to protect the Persian Jews and the mosque, the synagogues and the uh, Jewish community there. I mean, there's many violations of that rule. There's many, uh, yeah, they're not safe, of course, but the bottom line is, it still to this day is the safest of all of the, you know, powerful Islamic countries, and it's an extremely anti-Semitic country, so they're, you know, it's amazing the miracle that she has worked, but it's very strange that they would be uh, comparing that to Trump, but it was actually uh, the, uh, the shirt that Andrew was wearing, and uh, it, it was, um, it reminded me that Cyrus the Great was uh, inspired by Queen Esther and uh, Lady of Fatima, Moon Goddess, Source of the Sun. Um, October 13th, she worked, uh, she promised a miracle that everybody would see, and the communists uh, and the Freemasons, the, the uh, atheists, were present. Many of them were there to mock the event, and 70,000 people showed up for this promised miracle, and uh, the prophecy was the coming of World War II, as well as the rise of communism and the spreading of communism throughout the world. And uh, the interesting thing is Fatima was the name of the Arab moon goddess source of the sun, and it was a solar miracle, and, uh, you know, Emperor, the Japanese imperial dynasty, uh, and the imperial flag, you know, it's the of course, the rising sun, but the sun was dancing, throwing off many colors, and uh, on a day I call Japan Day, 14th of the month, it was actually Margaret Singer's uh, birthday, I, uh, I pray for Japan every 14th of the month, because I had Japan fever and didn't know why. It was like all these Japanese people and children were smiling and controlling me like I was a puppet, and, uh, I came up with this song, uh, Hirohito, I'm with you, a faithful POW, with the victims that lost their lives in Hiroshima. Mother Mary's gonna love this one, when we restore the empire of the sun. Take me down to Tokyo, make my spirit whole, we'll build a great empire of the sun. Mother Mary's gonna love this one, POW. Forever I am chained to you. May I be your dog and your machine, the faithful prisoner of the Japanese. Take me down to Tokyo, make my spirit whole. So anyway, the, the uh, Imperial Dynasty of Japan is said to descend from a wolf. And so I, uh, someone named Andrew, by the name of uh, Meadow's father, I said, uh, John Kennedy put so much money into the, uh, uh, Apollo program to beat the Russians to the moon. Supposedly, allegedly, he would have let his own relatives starve and if he could beat uh, the Russians to the moon. That was important to him, okay? And so I have this, uh, I have this obsession with the moon, you know? I, I see something different on the moon when I, it affects my, my mind, you know? Like, I see it as sentient. A lot of people see the moon as sentient. She changes so much, but, uh, this uh, year, June 3rd, um, that's 6-3, you know, the six month, third day, and John Kennedy died in 63, and uh, it was the strawberry moon, the pink moon, okay? And uh, Meadow, she and I have the, uh, the rabbit as our uh, 
Chinese Zodiac. And her middle name is Jade, okay? So as you know, the Jade Rabbit uh, offered itself to the Jade Emperor who was disguised as a starving human being. And the, the rabbit pities the poor starving uh, soul and offered itself up as a meal to hopefully save the Jade Emperor's life, okay? And the rabbit achieved immortality and became deified. And there's a Chinese proverb that gold has a price, but Jade does not have a price. And uh, Fatima is re represented by a tree, the uh, moon divinity. I actually live in this city because of, uh, because of the uh, miracle of uh, Fatima, because uh, my father kidnapped us after my mother won custody, and he took us to Fatima, Portugal, to try to raise us there. And uh, he met uh, some Carmelite sisters, and John Kennedy Jr. actually died the uh, year Meadow was born, the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. John Kennedy Jr., the, uh, I have more to say about that, but I, I found this uh, plate that was made in Japan, uh, dated 1984, at Happy Mother's Day, and, uh, that was, uh, that was April 15th. I, I had a dream that, uh, Eminem stole the fisherman's ring off of Pope Benedict's finger and placed it on the finger of a woman, and I went to, uh, to Capitol Hill, and, uh, I find a Happy Mother's Day plate that has a 22-carat golden ring. I'll show that later, um, and, uh, it was actually made in Japan, and I believe that there, there was a, uh, a a female Vatican. But before I even was even thinking, the Capitol Hill queens that I was invoking were uh, were anything. I thought it was Washington D.C. Capitol Hill, and then I was moved next to Capitol Hill the day seventeen die, and seventeen are injured. Well, this shirt I found the next day. Um, and uh, 1999 was the year of Columbine shooting. Columbine is alternative for Columbia, which is the female personification of American government, a state that is a entity, female that uh, has a mind, independent mind, heart, will of her own, uh, is actually a, a doctrine uh, that was inspired actually by uh, the, uh, the person they call the shadow mistress of, of Mussolini, who was actually Jewish and uh, he was actually trying to be Cyrus, but at, at any rate, uh, Cyrus, the name, the Messiah name means son, and Samson uh, means of the sun, and he was a kamikaze that uh, killed over more people than both World Trade Center attacks and the Pentagon attack combined in his, uh, uh, with his bare hands in the Temple of uh, Dagon. And uh, so, I guess it's silly, but uh, she leaves signs, and... Of course, you see, 1999, you, you turn it upside down, it's 666, but that was the year of the Earth Bunny, and so Columbine, Columbia, uh, personification of the uh, American government, was also uh, similar to Jerusalem. In the Old Testament, the government of God was, uh, it was a female entity, and they said, Jerusalem is a woman, oh, that you would nurse with delight at her abundant breast, drink fully the milk of her comfort. She will, in Jerusalem, you will find your comfort. Um, <laughs> it's a, uh, anyway, the female personification of government was also Babylon, the woman that rides the beast. So Emma Watson's birthday was the day I found, was the day before April 16th when this happened, when I found this shirt, when it was the day I, I found the, okay, the 1984, like 1984 political party, okay, that was the date of the the plate made in Japan with the 22 karat golden ring, and uh, 1984, um, you know, Emma Watson played in Beauty and the Beast, The Kiss of Bell, uh, Breaks the Curse of the Beast, okay, so the, the uh, it, was in, it was in front of Hubert H. Humphrey, okay, the statue of Hubert H. Humphrey, it was 1984 McDonald's Massacre that 22 people were shot and killed, the biggest shooting up until then in America. And it was, an, it was a person named Huberty that was doing the shooting, and I was in front of a statue of Hubert H. Humphrey. I mean, the odds of this happening by just chance alone are just not, it's just irrefutable, so.
Meadow, Jade, please help me to be...